All right, people, so the work donkey, Vicky the Van here, on the way home, uh, doing about 60, and all of a sudden, roar, I'm pushing four grand on the tack, right? So, through a code, engine light came on, and we got a transmission code. P0700. I can put a link in the description to this, too. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And there it is data stream count read codes that's it p0700 transmission control system transmission control system it's a generic code it could mean a number of things but usually i'm optimistic when i get a code you know it's when your when your vehicle has a transmission problem and doesn't throw a code that's you, we got worry it's either a speed sensor or a module. I'm gonna curl up underneath here. The most common cause from what I've heard is the speed sensor. Good old 3.3 liter. Down there we got a A604 transmission. Uh, as a mechanic, if you wanna encourage us type of folks to keep making videos like this, if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, I mean, this is valuable information, right? Helps us out a ton. If you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll get off your back about that. A604, these transmissions have been in these vehicles, these 3.3 liters, since like 1989, all the way up to 2006, uh, mechanically. So the whole thing is computer controlled. It's computer controlled transmission, mostly, right? And that's, it's kind of good news for them not failing majorly on the inside you know what I'm saying there's usually wires that get frayed or a sensor that goes out all right so our speed sensor is right there circle around it we need a one inch wrench in there to loosen it up so, because I don't want to be here all day, I'm going to remove this guy here. Right over there. And we're going to run a little hole. So I just, uh, I zipped a little hole right there. And then, the magic of zip tie technology right here. All right, so yeah, you can see this hole here. My whole thing's missing in the front, so that's helpful. But, <laughs> drill another hole, I don't know. But yeah, I just temporarily use this to pull this back. Give me a little extra room up there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove the air box. Two 10 millimeters here, and then you just unhook the uh, down here. See that? Oh no. The air box for the filter. Just a horrible place to put the filter box, you know what I'm saying? And there it is. Might as well change that while I'm in here. Let's just look at the other side. Yeah, that's about due for about due for an air filter. Look at that. Okay. That's a lot more access, isn't it? So with the filter box out of the way and the, that fender thing back, and we can reach this guy pretty a lot more easily. Right there. Let's get some light on the subject, shall we? So yeah, it's just like a lifting up on that tab. Right there, this little tabby thing on the side, and you pull it straight back. Out. A lot of parts, you know, especially in a wet part of the world. But here we are. All right, so let's see if I can film this part as I use my phone as a flashlight. Oh yeah, look at that! I found a found a one-inch socket. That's a beautiful thing right there. Let's see if this it's not a long one though. <laughs> hope it hope it makes the stretch. 
Yeah, turning uh, turning that thing with this guy was just a, a very slow process, so. Boom. All right, got it. There it is, it's got some glue glob on there. That's, that's great, it's all coated with, yeah, that's probably not, that's not really what you wanna see, but it's got 170,000 miles on it, what do you expect? All right, got me a transmission speed sensor here. MicroGuard air filter all in here. And uh, we're hoping this solves the problem, obviously. It's made of plastic, so you don't want to crank this sucker down too tight. All right. And there it is. Tightening down. All right, so there it is. I'm hoping those wires are okay because I moved it on the other side. The wires were going over and it was taut. Very taut wires. Might have stretched them. Or... Pigtail looked fine, but I don't know. Wires are another most common cause with these. All right, well, I'm trying to line up this wonderful air box air filter situation i'm going to disconnect the battery and this will reset the computer clear the codes etc all right so i find the best way to line this thing up and clamp it on is to remove this hose i've done this before but it was a while back and then you kind of shimmy it on there and it's just a horrible design, man. Horrible. All right, so that's put back together. And put the wheel back on. All right, people, it's test drive time. Got a little grease on me, that's okay. Here we go, getting on the freeway. Moment of truth. We're up to 45, that's pretty good. I'm just happy if this thing goes 60. Well, it's not a hot rod. We ain't gonna win no races. I ain't bringing it to the track. Yesterday night I drove this thing in limp mode from North Seattle to my house on uh, 99, which is like traffic lights and stuff because it wouldn't go over 40 miles an hour. And now we're doing 65. So, so far, so good, man. A little longer than a few minutes later. And I drove all the way to Marysville on freeway, drove all the way back, and it's, it's going good. I think that's a fix. Call that a fix. Thanks for watching. Later.